now from Ultimate City Source. Today I've got a video for you guys on how to jailbreak iOS 4.1 GM release. Now this only does apply to, let me actually pull up my video, one second. Okay, you can see this little movie recording box right here. This only applies to second generation iPod Touch MB models, like my own iPod Touch 2G, and the iPhone 3G model, because that is an MB model. This does not apply to any other devices. Um, oh, okay, whoops, I don't want to cancel. Screen recording. Uh, so, until then, you'll have to hold off. But if you are on these things, I will show you how to jailbreak iOS 4.1, then GM release. So, guys, all you're going to need to do is have your USB cable and your iDevice. So, the first step would be to just go to the three websites in the links below. First, go to gumballtech.com and download the IPSW or the .IPSW. That corresponds with your iDevice. I will be doing the iPod Touch 2G and I already pre-downloaded this right here. Next one you'll need to download will be uh, Red Snow 0.9.5 Beta. So simply download this and download that for your operating system and just leave it where it is. And then go to the third link in the description, felixbruns.de and get the 4.0 version of your software. Yes, I know we are doing this for uh, for the 4.1, but you will be required to do this for 4.0. You have to aim uh, Red Snow at 4.0. So I'll be picking iPod Touch 2G 4.0, and you're just gonna download that. So in the meanwhile, all you're gonna do is you're gonna go to iTunes simply, and you're gonna restore your device. So if you're on Windows, I believe it's Shift and Shift and hit Restore. If you're on Mac, you just hit op you hold Option and hit Restore. Then you're gonna get your pop-up window. Simply pick wherever you have the firmware. I have mine on my desktop and choose restore. Now you're going to restore your iPod or your iPhone. Not very hard. Very simple to do. Now guys, if you do need to activate this also, as I did my sister's uh, non-activated iPhone 3G, all you do is take an old uh, deactivated SIM card, stick it in, unplug it, replug it back in, and you're good to go. That will activate it for you. So in case you don't know how to activate it. So don't worry about that. That will automatically be pre-all activated. Now guys, I do have to say that this will not get full Cydia for some of you guys, is I heard City is not completely working. Uh, I will try installing it on this iPod Touch for this video, and I will put a video at the end of this showing you guys how it works. But from what I've heard, it sounds like only multitasking and battery percentage are working along with home screen wallpapers. So this is not for all of you guys who rely on City for an unlock or like just a full jailbreak. Um, this is good for people like me though, who who really don't need the full jailbreak. Uh, for me, I don't really need a full jailbreak as I have four other eye devices. Um, so really, guys, this is really up to you on whether you want to still proceed from this point. Um, if not, you can just probably unplug your iPhone or iPod Touch from from the device or from the computer right now, and then use Reboot Me and get it out of recovery mode. So if you choose to go through with it, just proceed with it. You can see if your network is as fast as mine is. You should be pretty done, pretty close to being done with your download, and your resource should be about a quarter away right now. So, guys, I'm gonna stop the video real quick, and I'll come back when this is done downloading, and when this is done restoring. Guys, it's done downloading now, 4.0, and at this point, your iPod or iPhone should be just about done with the restore, almost getting there. So we're just gonna get started with Red Snail. So once you have your 4.0 downloaded, make sure you know where it is, and then simply open up the Red Snail you downloaded. Okay. All you're gonna do is you're gonna pick browse and make sure that you pick 4.0, not 4.1. As you can see, that's 4.1. So you can pick 4.0 still. Okay, it's gonna say processing firmware real quick. Uh, if this is an MC model, so is this an MC model? No. Then I'm just gonna hit next. And real quick, I just noticed my iPod Touch has come back on screen, saying that it is in recovery mode, which actually iTunes got canceled. Uh, so you can see it's in recovery mode. Uh, we don't care because we're going to kick it into like DFU mode. Uh, don't install City. I don't think. Uh, watch this whole video before you, you actually finish doing this. I'm going to install City even though people have told me it doesn't always work. So, I'm just going to. Okay, hold on. You're going to go back real quick then. And actually, real quick here, let me show you guys. If if you get the recovery mode error like I do. Oh, I don't want to drag Mac Keeper. Um, okay, let's see. Let me open up Photo Booth and show you guys Reboot Me then real quick. I'll just use Reboot Me. Software that was created by Appleman547 and Mr. Aegis Tech, but it has been skinned over by Alex from Ultimate City Source or this 
channel so you can see it's rebooting real quick. Three. Nothing. Two. Else. I'm just gonna hold that. Real quick. Not touching any buttons. One. Rebooting my device. Okay, so that should kick my iPod out of recovery mode, and it actually didn't. Huh. Okay, guys. Uh, anyways, so uh, I'm just gonna fix that real quick then. And ah, uh, you know, I'll just get started with this then. Looks like guys. So, oh no, actually, I have to do this real quick. So I'll be right back when I get it out of recovery mode. I see, as you can see, oh, I just clicked uh, update. I have been able to successfully upgrade my iPod Touch second generation onto software iOS 4.1. So now that it's on 4.1, let's get back to Red Snow, which is something we tried to do earlier and I failed at because, well, because I wasn't on 4.1. So all you can do then again is open up Red Snow, browse for your firmware, make sure you pick 4.0, as I've done right here. It's gonna say processing firmware. That's okay. No, this is not an MC model. Again, if this is an MC model, it will not work. Also, if you haven't at this point, turn off your iDevice. Just slide the power off. Okay, you can see it's going to be preparing jailbreak data. Now that will vary speed difference. You might already be done if you've got a faster computer than I do. And if you've got a slower computer, you might be waiting a few more minutes. So really, guys, it's all varying on your speed of computer. Uh, so, again, watch this whole video through real quick. Uh, don't if you're watching and trying to do this at the same time, uh, I'd say finish the, the video first real quick. I'm going to install Cydia, and, and then at the end of this video, I'm going to show you if Cydia works or not. Uh, so don't, just stop right here, temporary. So I'm just going to go yes. Make sure your device is off and plugged in, which mine is. Then I'm just going to hold the power button down for one second. Then hold down the home button for 10 seconds. So you're going to release the power button looks like in just a second okay and then I'm gonna release the power button keep holding the home button down for 30 seconds and this will enter your device into DFU mode like it says up here uh, apparently I can't highlight that so got 18 more seconds because I'm actually in recovery mode right now so we're just gonna keep going keep going and I do apologize that this is such a long video guys um, if this is two parts which I don't know if it is then You've made it to the second part. Hooray. EFU mode failed. Okay, you can see for some reason it just didn't work. Which means let's try this again, guys. I will just let's see. It's actually weird because I did everything, but okay. Okay, hold on, guys. Uh, I'll come back when I get it back into DFU mode. So in the end, guys, I was not able to end up jailbreaking this iPod Touch 2G. Um, Due to unknown errors, for some reason I wasn't able to get into DFU mode. Trust me though, this does work if you do it properly. I think I'm just doing it wrong. Uh, I did do it on my sister's iPhone 3G. However, for some reason on hers, the phone app just did disappear. Uh, I think that was just a glitch with hers though or something. Uh, so, if not, you can always just restore back to it, to the other one. I would recommend that you back up your SHSH files beforehand using firmware umbrella. Uh, that's really it guys. Don't forget to like the video, comment, and subscribe. I do apologize that I was unable to jailbreak this iPod Touch 2G. Uh, yeah. So anyways, guys, uh, this does work. Trust me. It's just not working for me for some reason. So like, comment, and subscribe for more. We'll see you guys in the next video.